Me and my, me and my hectic life. It's just me and my, me and my hectic life. So, uh, I mean, in every, uh, every big, you know, famous musician that you hear of, there's usually a story associated where, you know, they had an experience that sort of shaped and motivated them to pursue music as a career. It's a pretty bold thing to do. It's, um, you know, it takes a lot of, takes a lot of bravery to put yourself out there and to, uh, to, you know, really make yourself vulnerable um, mm. to the world, to your fans. Um, you know, it's what people resonate with. Is there, is there like a defining moment um, that you had when you were aspiring or, you know, even still, you know, writing bedroom raps and that kind of thing at the time that actually, you know, motivated you to, to step up and put the mic in your hand? Well, sometimes you just, uh, you get that one shot, that one opportunity, and you just can't let it slip. You've got to capture it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, I think, yeah. Yeah, I think I've heard that before. Yeah. yeah. You might have. I've, I've, I've said it a few times. Um, yeah. And, you know, some people can't take that next step. You know what I mean? Mm. You've got to follow that, that multiple-mile long road down the down there you know yeah you gotta just get stuck into mum's spaghetti and just eat and just get ready to go you know you gotta you yeah. gotta eat yeah so anyway i um some people get that shot and it's just it, it's pretty small i did it on national television yeah which, wow uh, Dude, yeah that's wow. just how it happens sometimes what an opportunity channel v um yeah you know, big big show they were doing a tour which uh, you know I'm familiar with. They were doing a tour down the coast, featuring uh, I don't know if you know 1,200 techniques. They were they were pretty big time Both, back yeah. then. Yeah, absolutely. They were giving uh, up and comers opportunities to jump on stage uh, with them. Yeah, wow. And uh, and rap with them. And that was and, uh, there was a young legend, Derek, there, and uh, he was given the opportunity. Uh, it did get a little bit strange yep. in the ad break before we went on. We, we met the guys. Um, Infa. Yeah. Yeah. He was yeah. Uh, the, lead, the lead rapper in the group. I, uh, I met him. I shook his hand. And for some reason, I looked him dead in his eye and said, uh, I love you. He sort of looked at me a bit, a bit strange. Um, yeah, I, I mean, um, like on, honesty is a is a trait of uh, of musicians. Yeah, like I said, you know, you need to make yourself vulnerable in situations. How did uh, how did he how did he respond? Well, like, was that he, he he took it quite awkwardly? And and to be honest, if if I am being honest, and I, I feel I can be honest with you, uh, please, yeah, absolutely. You, I uh, I I didn't love him. Wow. Okay. And uh, I guess there's a lesson that uh, if you love someone, you should say it. Yeah. But if you uh, don't love someone, then I don't think you should say it to them. Especially, you know, when you're about to rap with them on live television. So there's a lesson to yeah to young players. Wow. How yeah. um, how did he take that? Did he? Well, the, we then uh we then had a. Uh, a bit of a competition between the three rappers. They picked a rap with them. We all had a go. Yeah. And then, um, and then Jabba, you know Jabba. Jabba. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, the Channel the V guy. The Channel classic, v. classic Channel V Jabba. Jabba. Made a, like Australian. He uh, um, he asked Enfa to pick who the winner was. Yep. Um. Or who would go on to rap with them at the end of it, and they uh, he wanted to pick a guy called MC Matt. MC Matt. Can you imagine? Look, he doesn't. He doesn't win points for uh, for names, but never judge a book by its cover. Yeah. Is um, he was, uh, you know, yeah, he was. Describe he was, MC yeah. Matt's style to me, like if you. So, I I describe Matt's uh, style as a lack of style. Um, his name said it all. It's pretty harsh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. Anyway, Enfield chose him over me, and then my mate Jabba. Yeah. Very likable bloke. I, I think Enfield probably didn't choose me because he thought that I'd. I'd take it wrong, and I'd think that maybe, uh, you know, he loved me back. Yeah, okay. Uh, yep. Anyway, he chose MC Matt, but Jabba said, let's just have them all rap with you at the end. Huh? So uh, so I went through and I rapped with them at the end on national wow. television. It was, it was a, quite a moment. It was from then that I thought, you know what? Give it a crack. Might become a legend in this game. You never know. 
And here we are. You can't really see a wink when I'm wearing wow. glasses. <laughs> It'll get you. It'll get you. So you need the, the clear mm. ones, yeah. So, you know, then I, uh, obviously I got quite involved in the scene. Yep. Which, uh, you know, you meet all sorts of personalities around that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, music has no, no shortage of personalities. Um, no, there's quite a few of them. Especially in Sydney. A lot of them. And, and you know, they're, they're, they're around. Yep. Yeah. They're not hard to find. Yeah. You meet them at the, uh, at the merch table, for instance. Met Earth Boy at, at the merch table. He's, um, he's notorious for man in the merch table. Sydney man OG. I mean, like, yeah. yeah. Loves to sell a shirt. Big ups to Earth Boy. Yeah. He's, he's, he's a great salesman. Yeah. I mean, he can rap, but... He's in the sales business. Yeah, wow. Let's face it. He's a he's a retail salesman. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't. I wasn't aware. Well, um, at the gigs, you learn something new. Mm. That's he. Uh, and no disrespect to retail sales or to Earth Boy. Mm. I mean, you gotta you gotta make a living. And uh, independent label that he runs, he uh, he got to sell those CDs. I don't know how he sells CDs these days. Did buy a vinyl off him the other day though. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Can't play it. Finals back. But, uh, I feel like it's re-emerging. Do you? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, cool. But uh, how do you even play them? You know what I mean? With uh, generally with like a, a record player. Yeah, like but a, I'm not a DJ. You know. But it's good because you get the artwork. Big, you know, big artwork. Pretty happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. So how? Um, talk to me about your process in selecting. Like, do you do you collaborate with artists to create? the artwork for your music or have something? in the past I've just uh, I've realised you know if you want something done you got to do it yourself you know what I mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah. obviously I'll steal beats off I mean I'll collaborate I'll, I'll borrow I'll use other people's beats but mm. uh like are you use as in how do you, how um, do you get a guest that you're not gonna just you know obliterate you know, how do you find that? How do you do that? It's hard. So you probably wouldn't mm. understand. Yeah, but no, I'm not. I'm not a rapper myself. Mm. No, I'm just um, just a fan of the culture. But who knows? If I find someone, yeah, it could be a good, nice little, nice little collabo. Yeah, collabo. Like, I mean, speaking of collaborations, um, I'd probably look. I'd probably collaborate with Kendrick. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. If he approached me. In the right way, I probably I probably would. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone else out there that um that you would, you know, even in younger years that you wanted to collaborate with, mm. um, when you were first coming up. Coolio. Yeah. Yep. But that was because of the hair, wasn't it? Top three. Yeah. Yeah, he's top three. Me and my, me and my hectic life. It's just me and my, me and my hectic life. I got a hectic you life. Mind? I do hectic things. Got hectic Where? strike. Good. Wear hectic rings. Wear a fair bit of bling. Got hectic chains. Hectic thoughts up in my hectic brains. Only hectic raps can keep me sane. To drop hectic rhymes on your headlight brain. How about this weather? Yeah, it's hectic, bro. In many ways, it's the same as my hectic.